Hello, thank you for tuning in for Art Rocks with me, James Fox Smith of Country Roads Magazine. I'd like you to meet Becky Nash, a Louisiana ceramicist whose graceful ruffles, waves, colours and layering techniques set her pieces in a class of their own. But don't take my word for it, here's Becky to explain why she just loves creating in clay. My art comes from pictures that I have in my mind and it's just how the clay starts to respond when I work with it. It is typically characterized as being organic, very irregular shapes, very unique. I use clay because um, in all the experimenting when I was in school, it was my favorite. As I took painting courses at LSU, I was totally frustrated. I just didn't like it. I think I'm more three-dimensionally oriented. Um, I enjoyed the sculpture classes that I had, but the clay is just something that's just real forgiving. And I enjoy the forming process more so than the glazing. Um, just enjoy the clay because it just feels so good. I love it. I love on days um, when the weather's nice in Louisiana um, to go out there and to work in my carport and have nice music. Like this piece right here is working on a song that I was listening to on Eagle's Wings and I felt that I made my basic shape and then worked on the wings, and then made a series of those. I work a lot with shells and use those to make texture. I do different things to my wheel thrown pieces in order to make them look distinctive and unique. And so um, after I throw a pot, then I use the shells to impress on a piece of clay and I attach it. Or I use it to press into a bowl and then scrape away the glaze the final process. Graffito is probably the most involved process that I use. Um, I usually do it on wheel thrown pieces and I throw the piece and then I put um, normally a black, sometimes I use blue or sometimes green, under glaze and it is a flat sort of glaze. It's done when the clay is leather hard um, and then I carve through it to show and expose the clay body underneath. A lot of what I do is experimental. <laughs> I love to experiment and I never do the same thing really over and over. I change it up a lot. Actually I feel like there's a part of God within me and that this is his creative nature coming out. So I look at each piece as something like that. And it can bring um, a portion of his character out and therefore it can bring a blessing to the person who looks at it or receives it. <laughs> 